In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the YouTube posts. So this is a really unique feature. It's taken us a long time to do, and we actually have it set up in a similar way as the Amazon product review feature. So you can enter a URL with the search keyword in it from YouTube, and it's actually going to pull the videos all from that search result page and continue to using those videos to create posts for you. Now you can also enter a channel URL, you can enter a playlist URL, you can enter specific keywords and it's gonna go out and search for videos for those keywords. Uh, there's just so much possibility with this new YouTube feature. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you all the features and how it works. I'm gonna do two different examples for you. One of them is gonna be with product review videos and one of them is gonna be with informational type videos. So the first one we're gonna do is a product review. So let's take, for example, my home reviews channel where I do product reviews of just odd and end stuff in the home. What I'm gonna do is come up here and I'm gonna copy the actual URL of the channel, which is youtube.com and then at official home reviews. A lot of them may not have the ad officials home reviews. It'll be letters and numbers. Let me give you an example. So sometimes you may see the channel name like this and you can use that also. You're just gonna copy it. We're gonna jump back and paste that in the box. I'm gonna give it a name. Now down here, you can use the video title as the content title. So for example, if it does, let me just open this video up here. So it'll use the title that you have for your video as your post title. So I am not gonna use this here but there may be times when you want to use this feature. So let's just say if you are trying to rank for a specific keyword or keyword phrase, or maybe you have a YouTube channel based around local marketing and you wanna make sure that it's using the specific uh, titles, the specific places and cities when it creates this content for you, then you can tick this box to do that. Once again, with the context box, you guys do not have to use this. I don't recommend you add anything extra into this box here. Now you also notice I have this extra box here called prompt. This is only available for me cause this is something we do for testing. Just ignore this, you don't need it. So down here, you're gonna have the rest of your normal features. You can add affiliate links within your post. I'm gonna uncheck this for now. You can add video embeds. So what this will do is it will actually grab the video from the video that you're using and embed that onto your article. If you don't want to use those, you can come down here and click add custom embeds. You can put in a list of video URLs in this box and it will randomly take those and add them to the post that it creates. For me, I'm going to leave it here so it uses the same video. I don't want to add images for now. You can add the YouTube description into the content. Now this can be very beneficial, especially if you're using your own YouTube channel or maybe you're building it out for a client and they want to have the content that's underneath their video in the article. So this could have their affiliate links. This could have maybe links that goes to their business, maybe phone number information or anything like that. Uh, it will take that and use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So when you tick this box, you're gonna see a couple extra options. One is you can rewrite the YouTube description. So if you don't want it to be exact, you can rewrite it. And two is you can keep the links in the YouTube description. I'm going to do that. If you don't want them, just untick this box. And then you can show where you want the YouTube description to show up at. Do you want it at the very top of the article, after the intro, in the middle, at the bottom, or randomly placed throughout the content? So for me, and in this example, I'm just going to put it at the very top, and then we'll have the article content after that. This is very important you understand how this works. There are two options here. One, you can keep checking YouTube for new videos. If you do this option right here, then you are not gonna be able to add the videos that are currently on the YouTube channel. So if you do this option, this will have to be on a campaign of its own where it is going to check twice a day, every day for new videos and it will take those and turn them into posts and publish them on your website. I don't wanna do that yet. I will create a separate campaign to do this. For now, I wanna take the existing videos on the YouTube channel, and that's what I wanna create content on. So down here, I'm gonna to put total number of posts to create. Let's just do, I'm just gonna do 20. Now, what I could do is jump back over here, and you can see here that I have 111 videos on this channel. So I could put 111 right here, 
and then I could publish them on a schedule to do one a day, two a day or whatever. And then it's just going to keep taking those videos day after day, creating articles and posting them on the site until all of them are created. Now, what I will do after creating this campaign is I will go in and create another YouTube campaign. This time I will check this box to keep checking for YouTube videos. And then I'll do say one every day if they're available. And so this will keep fresh new content being added to my website. Let's go ahead and just uncheck this for now. For this, I want to move it back to 20. We're going to schedule, let's just say one a day. And then down here, we have an option to create content only for unique YouTube videos. So if you read this, it says if checked, the system will check for duplication. If any other campaign from your account has already created the same content, it will be skipped. And what this means is you can create multiple campaigns on the same YouTube channel, uh, the same keywords or anything like that for one website. And if it finds throughout any of those campaigns that it's already published a video, it's going to skip it. So this is great because you don't have to worry about duplicate content now when you're building out your websites using YouTube videos. And then of course you have your features here for posting to WordPress, the same as you had before. I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm going to go ahead and create this and show you what it looks like. Now, while it's creating that video, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. And what's great about this is you don't even have to choose the type of post. Now it's automatically going to determine the type of video it is and create content around it. So let's jump over to this YouTube channel now. And this guy has a ton of videos based on cruising. So I figured I could use some of these on my voyage voices website. So if I scroll down through here, you can see these are not product reviews. These are all based around informational type things. So like this one, five worst things about cruising with Royal Caribbean. Okay, let's try this. So we're going to take this. I'm going to copy the link address, YouTube post. I'm going to paste the link in here. I'm just going to title it cruise. I'm going to have it create a different title for it. I'm going to skip through all this stuff. No affiliate links. It's going to embed the video. I don't want images. Let's remove the links from the description and we'll put it at the bottom this time and we'll scroll down. Just do the one video and click create. So now you can see all these different YouTube videos here that are set up to be scheduled. And you can see here, this is the one that's already done from my home reviews channel. So it says experience a great pool workout with the pool saddle. It's about 1300 words and let's view it. So if we look at the article, you can see here, it creates a description for you. And then down here, this first part, this is the description that is underneath the YouTube video. So it rewrote this and it added my Amazon affiliate link in here, which is great. So it's automatically imported. So I don't have to worry about creating any affiliate links for this since this is my own YouTube channel. It embeds the video and then look at this content that it creates for it. So down here we have your H2, your H3s, we have lists, we have bullet points, FAQs, and a conclusion, all from a YouTube short video. Jumping back over, we can see that it's now created a video based upon the cruising video, and it's over 1,500 words. Let's take a look at it. Now, over the past week, I have completely redone these prompts. So what we've done is allowed OpenAI to have a little more freedom to be creative with what it creates. And so you can see here, uh, the beginning of this says, picture yourself lounging on a sun soaked deck, enjoying the gentle breeze as the crystal clear waters stretch out before you. It says cruising isn't always as smooth as selling. And this comprehensive article will take a closer look at the underbelly of cruising vacation, shedding light on the five worst things about cruising with Royal Caribbean. So this is exactly what this video is about. If we jump back over here, this is the one that we did, the five worst things about cruising with Royal Caribbean. So it knows exactly what this video is about. And then it goes into detail about what they're going to cover. So I want to do one more here. We're going to go back to YouTube posts again. This time I'm going to do one based around crypto. So let me go ahead and give it a title. We're going to uncheck these. I'm not going to use the description this time. I'm not going to use the description this time, but remember if you do, it's going to add extra content to your article. So depending on how long the description is, you could have a really long article and let's just go ahead and publish this one. Now, jumping back over to my content, you can see where it created another review from my home reviews channel already. And let me go ahead and open this one up and view the post. Cause this one, it published directly onto my website 
And here you can see this one, I used the official title name from the video. And then once again, it goes into this. Imagine walking into a room that not only looks inviting, but also feels refreshing and captivating. And then it talks a little bit about the product. There's my video. And then here is a breakdown of the entire article, which looks amazing. So this one's done. You can see this one is over 2000 words and let's take a look at it. The need for new innovation and momentum in the cryptocurrency market. And then in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, the cryptocurrency market stands as a testament to the boundless potential of innovative technology. I love how it words things so much better than I could. And then you got your video and then a breakdown of the entire article based upon the video's content. Now, I want you guys to think for a moment the possibilities of this. Let's just say you have a channel based around tennis. You could find YouTube channels that teach you lessons on tennis, and you could take that entire YouTube channel as long as they allow embedding. If they allow embedding, then we will be able to use their videos, so it is legal. And then it's going to create all these posts on your channel based upon how to do tennis. Or maybe you're into DIY stuff. Maybe you're into camping, survival. Maybe you're into how to build things. Uh, maybe it's sports, competitions. Or one thing that I found that it can be used for and works amazing is for church services. So with our church, I was actually able to take our Sunday morning service and put the YouTube video in here and it created an entire article based upon that video that we can post along with the video on our church's website. So just with this one feature alone for YouTube posts, you could reach out to these YouTube channels and offer them this service to build them websites based around their YouTube content. Or if you have clients that maybe don't have YouTube channels, you could encourage them to start YouTube channels. And then once they do, you can use that content to create entire websites around. Maybe you don't want to do affiliate marketing. Maybe you think it's too risky. That's okay. You can build out informational type websites and get them approved for AdSense. That's what I'm doing for many of my websites. They all get approved even with affiliate posts on them and you can generate an income that way or you can put banner ads on there or whatever you want to do. But this is not the end of it. We have even more features coming soon. So stay tuned.